All right, here we got yet another example of why Hinduism is not the peaceful, pluralistic, tolerant religion that the constant media narrative portrays it as. Okay? Hinduism is violent. Hinduism is bloody. Hinduism is barbaric. Just like Islam, just like Roman Catholicism, just like atheism, just like Talmudic Judaism, all that stuff. Hinduism is not peaceful and pluralistic at all. They can't stand people who convert away from Hinduism. They want to aggressively convert people back into the demonic, false religion of Hinduism. And here we got an article from the Christian Post about a Christian woman who was eight months pregnant and lost her baby after some Hindu terrorists kicked her stomach and attacked her and caused her to lose her baby. Now the Bible actually addresses stuff like this about causing a woman to lose her baby through assault. You can read in Exodus chapter 21 verse 22 it talks about how if men are striving, if two men are fighting, and they hurt a woman who's pregnant and her baby departs from her, those two men get put. To, well, the men who did it get put to death. I'll put it that way. You can read about that in Exodus 21 verse 22. So. In a, in a biblical setting, obviously we're not under the law of Moses, but in a biblical setting, these Hindu extremists would have been executed for executed for causing women to lose her baby like that, causing her fruit to depart from her, like Exodus 21-22 says. We're going to read you this article, again proving that Hinduism is not peaceful, pluralistic, or tolerant at all. Hinduism is, is uh, murderous, bloody, and barbaric, and satanic. It says... A Christian woman who was eight months pregnant lost her baby after Hindu extremists attacked her, pushing her to the ground and kicking her stomach in Central India's Madhya Pradesh. Hope I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Pradesh state. Morningstar News reports that a group of Christians in Dewada village, uh, Barwani district, had organized a church service of Thanksgiving and prayer ahead of New Year's. Ahead of the New Year, the service planned from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. was open to all in the celebration. Uh, and a celebration meal was planned for the afternoon of January 1st. As the Christians prepared for the celebration, a mob of 30 Hindu extremists carrying wooden batons and stones approached the home. Kind of thing a Muslim would do almost. See, again, Hinduism is not pluralistic at all. They are murderous and, and uh, bloody. And they get in this demonic frenzy when you celebrate and worship Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It says, the assailants uh, believe to be affiliated with the Hindu group Rashtriya a uh, Swam Sevak Sang, I think that's how you say it, the ideological mother of the ruling party in the state, the Bartania, Bar, Bartania Janata Party, hope I'm saying that right, began beating the Christian men and sexually harassing the woman, accusing them of, carry, of carrying out forced conversions, according to the home, homeowner, Sardar Vascale. Quote, will you people never learn, um, members of the mob said, according to Vascale, quote, we will not let you conduct a prayer meeting, nor will, let, will we let you slaughter the goat. Uh, you are carrying out conversions, unquote. Hearing the, the commotion outside the home, Leela uh, Bai, who was eight months pregnant, rushed outside. The mob allegedly pushed her to the ground and kicked her stomach until she fell unconscious. And later that evening, she miscarried on the way to, the, to a hospital. Again, what is Exodus 22, 20, uh, 21, 22, sorry, says, again, when people do that under under the Israelite, under the Israelite law of Moses, when that happens, the, pe the people who did that get put to death. Now, again, we're not under the law of Moses, but doing that kind of stuff is a very serious sin, causing women to lose their baby like that. It's also a good verse to use against those who support abortion, too, the uh, barbaric, murderous act of abortion. But this is the fruit of Hinduism causing her to lose her baby like that, uh, attacking her and beating her up, and just can't stand religious freedom. How does that work if Hinduism is a, such a tolerant, peaceful religion? How is there such thing as Hindu extremists if it's a peaceful, pluralistic religion? It's not. It's murderous, violent, and barbaric, and bloody, and satanic, and demonic, and idolatrous. You, just, you can name it, it fits into that category. So just more proof of the uh, murderous nature of Hinduism. That simple. Hinduism is not peaceful at all. It's not a religion of peace, it's not a religion of pluralism, it's not a religion of tolerance. It's a religion of, basically, they want a theocracy, a Hindu theocracy, where there's no religious freedom, no liberty of conscience, no freedom of speech, all that stuff. So don't be deceived by Hinduism, and don't be deceived by the media narrative that it's a peaceful religion. It's not. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.